Hey there, ghouls. I'm Lauren and this is Mary and we are your ghoul guides. And today, because we're not particularly Christmas people and we thought that you might need a bit of a break from Christmas cheer, I guess, we're going to be playing Gothic Edition Kiss, Marry, Kill. I am very excited about this. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of games associated with Christmas that we could have played. I feel like charades with two people on Zoom is probably really boring. Also, I hate it. Um, so, what... although if anyone would like to see me and Lauren <laughs> try and do charades, do please charades. let us know in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, maybe we could have attempted to mime popular gothic novels, like, you know, how I I don't know how one would like the mysteries of Udolpho. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna play. Kiss, Marry, Kill. So for those of you that are not aware of what Kiss, Marry, Kill is, it is a popular game, mostly among teens, in which you are given by your friends three options and you must decide which you would kiss, which you would marry, and which you would kill. Um, you may know, know it under a, another name, uh, which, um, you know, is slightly, Slight, slightly uh, more not safe for work. Yeah, and I realise that we do swear quite often on these programmes, um, but the point of this was supposed to be, you know, fun, sometimes educational videos for everybody. So we decided to call it the more PG term, which is Kiss, Marry, Kill. Um, you may have also heard it under the name Snog, Marry, Avoid, but I believe that was an actual show and I don't want to get sued. Um, <laughs> So we're going for Kiss, Marry, Kill, Gothic edition. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Option one. I decided that we should start with the classics. So oh, Mary, good. Kiss, Marry, Kill, Manfred, the villain from The Castle of Otranto, the Marquis from Radcliffe's Romance of the Forest, or Montoni from the Mysteries of Udolpho. Okay, wow, that's actually quite difficult. Um, okay, so I guess Manfred, kill. Because <laughs> he's very rapey. Now, they all are. <laughs> um, are they though? Well, is Montoni I, rapey? The Marquis is Adeline's uncle. He doesn't uh. know that and he does then try and kill her when he finds that out, but I will agree with you that Manfred is more like, like the Marquis is quite Sardian and that is inherently rapey. Um, but yeah, Manfred is more kind of like, I'm going to physically chase you around this castle girl who was supposed to be my daughter-in-law this morning. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, no, I, now that you said that about the Marquis, I am, you've got the incest vibes as well. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Wow. I mean, I guess, so I guess process of elimination and also because I think he's a better villain um, and not, not ready. Um, Montoni, marry, I guess. Marry, marry him. There is somewhere in the world an alternative version of the Mysteries of Udolpho where Emily marries Montoni and they live in that badass castle and have a very beautiful, passionate, romantic life. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm 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 sure maybe there's some Anne Radcliffe fan fiction out there. And if there isn't, please write it and send it to us. <laughs> please do. Um, Montoni is definitely, and let's be honest, Montoni is by far the sexiest of these three these three yeah. villains. A like, long shot. Long. By a long shot. Like Radcliffe's like, oh, he he looked so majestic as he looked out in his like manly garb, and you're like. Are we meant to not like this guy? Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me switch things up. I guess okay. Montoni, kill. No, marry. Marry. And then I guess kiss Manfred. Okay. 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 And, and kill the Marquis because yeah, yeah, the in incesty, rapey vibes. Yeah. Mm. Also, like Manfred, like at the end of Castle of Otranto, is like, oh, I was a bad dude. I he kills his been. daughter, doesn't he? He does. He does. He does murder <laughs> his daughter, thinking that well, she is the yeah. daughter-in-law to be that he is trying to marry himself. So, like, he is redeemed, and he does kind of like say sorry. So, I think you could, 
I think he would be okay to kiss. But yeah, the Marquis, I think, is like Radcliffe's probably most despicable villain. Like, mm-hmm. Shadoni from the Italian, there's a, the, it, like, he's not great. Um, he's super creepy dude. But yeah, the Marquis's really smarmy. Mm. Like, he presents himself as this, like, really nice gentleman chevalier. And then he's like, ha ha, gonna trap you in my Sardian hell palace. <laughs> and then try and kill you when I find out that you're my niece. <laughs> okay, cool. I... Um, I kind of, I feel like that one was kind I know you said it was hard, but I feel like it's kind of easy. Like, I'm easing you in here. Um, okay. But I'm going to stick with the classic gothic. And I am pretty sure I know what you're going to say to this one, but, um, I thought it would be nice to dig into. Arthur, Seward, or Quincy (laughs) from (laughs) Bram Stoker's Dracula. (laughs) And this is actually a conversation that we have had. (laughs) So, um, so Quincy Morris, Quincy the Morris. Uh, amazing cowboy Texan. Um, Quincy, John life. Seward, the uh, erratic, um, slightly a bit uh, even like we can't insane even asylum doctor. psychiatrist. Like he's not. Um, he's a he's a doctor who runs a not particularly well maintained asylum. <laughs> or and then um, Arthur. Um, Arthur, is it home? No, not Homewood. God, Godalming? God, Godalming. Well, he's it's he's both, right? He's Homewood at the beginning, and then he becomes yeah. Lord Godalming or Goldalming. I never really yeah. know how you say that. Um, so you've got handsome gunslinging Texan. You've got very intense, quite intelligent, but a little bit weird, and also runs an asylum doctor. And then you've got nice guy Arthur who is not that much to write home about maybe but is hella rich yeah um like hella rich it's a shame that we can't combine these and have marry and kill in the same way because I would say <laughs> let's marry and kill Arthur so <laughs> he's a bit of a wet money. blanket let's be honest <laughs> but I want his money yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, this is making me sound very shallow. I was going to say, we're like, are they hot? Are they rich? <laughs> I think, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, Arthur is a bit of a wet blanket and yeah. I don't think, I don't think I'd want to kiss him and I also don't think I'd want to marry him. He sounds a bit boring. So I think I'd, unfortunately, nothing personal, though I guess it is kind of personal because it's murder, but I guess I'd kill him. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then I think, I think maybe kiss uh, Dr. Seward mm-hmm. um, because it might be interesting. I feel like he's got edgy vibes. Yeah, yeah, ed- edgy vibes and maybe a little bit on the kind of dangerous side or yeah, know, yeah. wild side. Mm-hmm. Um, and then definitely marry Quincy. Like there's no other option. Like Quincy is obviously the best and like we can have like all these cool like, you know, cowboy adventures. Yep. Um or like it could be like a 19th century um, supernatural where oh, like we ride across Quincy. America on his horses fighting demons. Mm-hmm. And rather than the Impala, we have horses. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. So like me. a Findacy Equus Supernatural. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that I would kill Seward. That's fair. He's a bit because, of a weirdo. And I, I just always feel like he's just a little bit too... You know, those, like, you get this sometimes with surgeons where you're like, do you do understand your patients of people. Um, and also maybe it's just because um, the way that they put it in adaptations, but there's some health violations in that asylum. And I'm... And, and ethical violations. Some, some real heavy ethical violations. Yeah. I'm not about that. Um, like I've got my own doctorate to think about. Like, need to protect my own <laughs> reputation. So I'm real sorry. I'm gonna kill Seward. And here's the thing: there's nothing in the laws of this game that says that you cannot continue to kiss one once you have married the other. So I would marry Arthur <laughs> for the nice, comfortable life that he would provide me. 
Kiss Stewart. Uh, Stewart. I would kiss Quincy. You continue and to have an affair with Quincy. I would have. I well. would be like, this is. I would be like, this is my business partner, Quincy, and we go on Indiana Jones style adventures together around the world. I mean, I'll allow it. I'll allow it because that sounds fun and also to be honest very in keeping with um lucy i'm sure lucy would well yeah i you know lucy is my favorite character in that novel and who's to say that that wasn't who's to say that that wasn't her plan i'm a marry me a rich lord but still (laughs) keep my uh you know handsome suitors on you know i feel like uh, you know arthur's not gonna want some of the things that i want so he's a he's a sad man his wife became a vampire and then they had to chop her head off <laughs> so <laughs> i don't feel too guilty because i feel like you know he just he just needs a, a bit of happiness and stability but not too much like he's he's a bit broken so yeah i would be a truly terrible person and i would <laughs> marry <laughs> arthur well i i mean i feel like me. i'm also a truly terrible person because i literally could have killed off the um unethical doctor but i was like no i'd rather kiss you and kill off the boy <laughs> so yeah yeah also i do kind of feel like um quincy is the one most likely to listen when we say van helsing is insane and you should not trust him <laughs> exactly yeah 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 and you know what i always want to say who does that who does the castle belong to now there's like a big old cool castle in transylvania i really liked that theory that maybe he got bitten by a werewolf and he isn't dead um so maybe maybe he's still in castle transylvania yeah and the viewers of sundays with dracula assure me that there are a lot of quincy spin-offs yeah um and yeah i think there's a lot of potential there but yeah quincy for the win love that man of that gunslinging <laughs> like he's just just like all of his lines are so weird and you're like did stoker ever actually meet an american <laughs> it's weird like yeah he's such a such a kind of odd mm-hmm. like stereotype of what yes. a 19th century british person would think a texan cowboy would be but yeah. at the same time he's like also the best and most interesting character mm-hmm. um, Especially out, like, I mean, out of all the men, anyway. Um, yeah, totally. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> for our third selection for Kiss, Mary Kill, we're going cryptid. So, your options are the Mothman. <laughs> okay. The Goatman of the Goatman's Bridge. Or Bigfoot. <laughs> so if, if any of you don't know who these things are, um, if your viewers like Mary and I are of BuzzFeed Unsolved or you're fans of um, American folklore and cryptids, you probably already know who these are. The Mothman uh, comes from supposed sightings of a possibly alien creature um, who, according to the statue of him in the place where he's been sighted in the, in the US, um, has a great ass um, and like a tall <laughs> back. <laughs> um, and potentially psychic powers um, and is, as his name would imply, part moth, part man. Uh, the goat man <laughs> is a potentially demonic entity, possibly called Steve who resides on a bridge near the small town of Alton and Bigfoot. So Bigfoot, probably most of you are aware of, um, sometimes called Bigfoot, sometimes called Sasquatch, um, potentially related to the myth slash legend of the Yeti is a large, probably like seven, eight foot kind of ape man um, that is said to have been so, kind of spotted or sighted in like pretty much everywhere in the world. Um, I think anywhere where there's like mountains and forests, there's been um, suggestions of sightings of this creature. But particularly in the US, um, there have been footprints, there's been like photographs. They're usually proven to be hoaxes. <laughs> um, 
but yeah that's a big foot the foot uh, a squatch <laughs> one might say so yeah kiss marry kill the mothman goat man okay. steve and bigfoot <laughs> i this is my favorite one so far i great. thought that you would love this yeah and this is actually really hard um i'm reading a detective story at the moment um with a jewish vampire detective and a sasquatch um kind of forensics person um and they're very flirty and um, <laughs> it's really interesting and great but having said that i think i would probably kill bigfoot <sighs> Um, so strong. <laughs> I know. I, well, it's really hard. Like, I don't know. Like, it, this is really hard. I'm thinking, do even now? I'm thinking, do I mean that? Do I really? Mean that? <laughs> um, but just why, because okay, I think, why would you kill Bigfoot? Because I think I want to kiss and marry the other ones more. <laughs> 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 That's literally it. Um, but I, so, so okay, for me, okay. it would either be hi- Bigfoot or Sasquatch would either be kill or okay. kiss. Um, okay, okay, okay. But I think I'm going to put Mothman in the kiss. Okay. I guess. So why are we committing ourselves here to Goatman Steve? Oh, yeah, well, that <laughs> one, that one, I, I immediately know because, you know, I love, you know, like, <laughs> demonic, satanic yep. goats. And yep. also, plus, you know, Goatman comes with a, with a bit of property you know he does have a bridge yeah so um, i feel like yeah yeah cool get married and then yeah got a bridge great got a bridge and potentially um, the sur- surrounding woodlands like uh, apparently people do cult stuff in those woods so i feel like that's my jam and, yeah and like you, you know, know i just you'd have yeah. to move to the u.s and like marry him so like you know, if you're gonna have to go marry a guy, you want to make sure you've got community. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to be isolated. Exactly. Yeah. So, so There's for me, yeah, that's why I would marry <laughs> okay. Goatman. Okay. I actually think I would also kill Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, academia is is like real, real, real hard right now. Like, it's really hard to make a living. And if I killed a Bigfoot. <laughs> Also, oh, so can, I just, can I just can I just I don't know like seriously like if I, if I was like oh my god you guys I found Bigfoot it's this course I would be on I'd be like on the Today Show I'd be on BBC News <laughs> like take a break would be like texting me like tell us what happened wow. Wow. I would be so rich. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really love that. I think that's great. I, I just had another thing that I thought you were going to say, which is that people might not be aware, but me and Lauren are quite short. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. How tall, how tall are you, Lauren? Five foot three. Five foot three. I am, I am five foot and I just don't see any kind of practical, uh, you know. Yeah, any, I mean... With yeah, that. actually, no, that's a really good point. <laughs> it's meant to be like seven to eight foot. <laughs> like, we are not tall. Yeah, no, I was just, again, I, God, I'm really merciful, aren't I? I'm like, only just in. <laughs> why did I do a degree in English literature again? But yeah, that's why I would kill Bigfoot, because... I love it. I think it's a great And reason. also, I think that would be, like would really help science like clearly <laughs> oh, oh for science now for science. is that what we're doing <laughs> if it exists we probably have some genetic similarities so <laughs> you know <laughs> it would be, it would be hey, okay 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 so science. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna kill bigfoot for, for potential money for science and to exploit uh um, personal gain yeah and then i think i would kiss the goat man because oh, okay, interesting. I like to go places and he seems pretty like he's pretty set on that bridge and I would like to go to that bridge sometimes um but you know I want to I want to see the world I want to travel go places I don't always want to stay home on the bridge they'll be like what we're we gonna do tonight darling well we have to stay on the bridge so I think you know he'd be good for like a couple of dates 
I'd be really interested to hear about how he got his bridge. I want to know about all the people he threw off his bridge. I would maybe like to watch him throw someone off the bridge. That would be fun. <laughs> but, you know, if I'm marrying a dude, I, I, want, I want to live my life. And that is why I would marry Mothman, because apparently he is very fast and potentially can fly, potentially has telepathic capabilities. And also, if that statue is to be believed, he ripped. Like, a dude, oh. a Mothman is ripped. <laughs> I mean, that's why, that's why, that's really what gave him the edge over um, Bigfoot yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, I just think, you know, he's potentially an alien like maybe he's an interdimensional traveler yeah. like yeah. you know i i don't really know what to believe because i think the main sighting of him was a bunch of people driving a car after doing drugs <laughs> um but and also like a whole town is like really into him and like they make pizzas about him and i feel like if i was mothman's wife i would get free pizza <laughs> it's very it's very wholesome yeah, like they would be like, oh, it's Mrs. Mothman. And then I would get free things. Again, I sound terrible. Uh, I think you'll find it's Dr. Mrs. Mothman. Dr. Mrs. Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I would marry Mothman. Um, I feel like we would be really happy together. I, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how that would kind of work anatomically. Like... <laughs> But I, I, you know, it's it's not it's not the only thing that's important. I think that we, I think our priorities really match up. So yeah, sorry, Bigfoot, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> this goat man, Steve, marry Mothman. Love it, love it. <laughs> but yeah, that that was that was my. This was our Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have <laughs> and if you want us to play this game in future you can leave options for kiss marry kill in the comments and if you want us to never do this again because it was incredibly weird and awkward <laughs> just tell us and we won't do it but for or, more... <laughs> you know leave us suggestions for other people for other. that we could play this game with um yeah if or let us know if you kiss, disagree marry, or agree with our choices um, <laughs> yeah you know nice. We're just two ghouls <laughs> thinking about weird shit. <laughs> Having a bit of fun. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, stay safe and stay spooky. <laughs> stay safe and stay spooky. <laughs>